Hello, this is Jessica Fox from Florida Virtual Bookkeeper. Today I want to show you the app that is the most important in my app stack in terms of keeping me organized. It's GQ. So this is what I use to keep track of what I need to do, but also to help me time block. And one of the reasons why I love it so much is because it seamlessly integrates with G Suite, which is what I use for my email, my calendar, my files, etc. So that I am able to get a lot of things done without jumping around. It has a lot of features. There is a free version, but I choose to upgrade because it's very inexpensive and very well worth it. You can have shared lists. You can have subtask reminders, you can add attachments. If you have a team, you can assign tasks to your employees or your team members. You can have team drives to work collaboratively, tags, search, small filters, comments. It integrates with Gmail and there's mobile apps for it. It really offers a lot for a very small price. So I just want to show you a little bit of what it looks like under the hood. I'm just going to move this out of the way so that uh, you can see better. Because I have my entire life in this app, I cannot go into detail and show you a lot of what I have going on because I do not want to inadvertently share any client information. But essentially, uh, you can set up different queues, which are like different to-do lists. Uh, I have a folder for clients. If I were to expand that, there will be all of my clients listed. I have a separate folder for outsource because I do outsource work for a ta tax accountants and other bookkeepers. I have my general business queue that I then break in with the administrative tasks, my continuing education, marketing, and personal because if I don't write it down, I forget. I actually have GQs remind me when I need to take out the trash or do the laundry because otherwise I will forget. So it does offer a lot of customization and you can configure apps, you can share, and adding a task can be done in a variety of ways. From inside the app, you just click add a new task. You just start typing what your to-do is. In the calendar, you can select when that item would be due. You can assign it a time. You can say that you want to work on this at 10 a.m. and it's gonna take you 30 minutes. You can choose what type of reminder you want to get for it. No reminder, an email reminder, a pop-up reminder. I need pop-up reminders, so that's usually what I choose. How far in advance you want to get a reminder? Right at the time, five minutes before. When it repeats, you can configure even custom repeats it's very versatile. And then I can assign, uh, add, invite people to share the task. I can add notes to remind me what I need to do about that task, add attachments. I can add comments. The comments are tracked here on the right-hand side so I can have conversations with team members about things without cluttering the actual to-do, the different tags. And then I can duplicate it. I can add subtasks a lot of things to do. Then I can just drag and drop it and move it into different queues. I can duplicate them. My smart queues, this is a feature that I really like, is because it's a way where you can customize your view. So for example, as you can see here, my top one is my due today, in parentheses, not waiting on client, because let's face it, sometimes we have things that we wanted to do today, but we can move on just yet because we're waiting to receive something. So this way, it, this will show me anything that I have a due date of today or a previous due date that I haven't marked as done. So it shows me my past due things, but that do not have the tag waiting on client. That way I am only looking at what I need to be working on today without getting overwhelmed or distracted by things that are not a pressing concern. I do have a smart queue of just the things that are tagged waiting on clients. So that way I know who do I need to nudge and follow up on and I can customize other smart queues as needed. One of the things that I love about GQs is that because it integrates seamlessly into my Google Calendar when I look at my week, here I'm looking a little bit far into the future so that I know that there's only placeholders in place. You're not going to see any client names or anything uh, personally identifying. I have uh, the, my tasks from GQs showing in a different color. So uh, right now the blue is my business calendar. GQs would show in teal. And the beautiful thing is that if I want to create a task, 
while looking at my calendar, I do not need to switch over. It's as simple as creating a new event. So let's say, for example, on Monday morning, I want to do some client work. I'll just put a client initial and I'll just say reconciliation. When I select the calendar and I select the GQ's calendar, it will automatically add it to the GQ's to-do list. With that due date in the description, I can add whatever notes I want. And when I save it, it will show up over there. Another thing that I really love about this is because let's face it, plans are made to be broken. Life happens. You may want to work on something at a certain time, but you will usually have something come up that you may require you to reschedule. It's as easy as drag and drop. But before I do that, I want to go back to the G my queue. You see, it shows right here. The event that I created in Google Calendar is immediately showing up here with the due date that I had assigned and the time that I had assigned. But let's say suddenly Monday, January 20th, I woke up, I am sick, I can't work, I want to do this tomorrow. I just drag and drop it. And then when I come back to GQs, the date already updated. So I am working in my calendar. I get it done. As you can see in here, it tells you, you can link to the app in the task in GQs. But when I have it done, I can mark it done here. And it will mark it done in GQs. So now when you see it's gone from my calendar, when I go back, it's gone here as well. It's instantly syncing so that I do not have to remember to do that. Another thing that I really love about it is that I can create a GQ's task from any website that I am in. Uh, there is a browser extension. So here I am in PB Central. Let's say I saw something here in the QBO virtual manual that I wanted to uh, remind myself to do, like maybe I want to come back and watch the video or I want to implement a step. I added a bookmark here, but you can have uh, also there's the GQ's uh, extension. I just click in here and it automatically takes the name of the website. I can assign what queue I want to add it to. I'll assign it to the inbox since that's the one that we're looking into. And then I can just type any notes, like I will write, you know, watch video. And I can create the task and it will be added to my inbox. And in GQs, there's like this uh, little shorthand. So I could, if I had wanted, I could have typed in due dates, times, tags when saving that and it would have carried over to the app. So here it is in my inbox already. And there's the link to the web page that I created the task from. And then I can reorganize it. I can say this is continuing education. So I just drag and drop it in there. And because sometimes we get emails from people and they require a to do, I just open a random email. This is from the Successful Bookkeeper podcast. I hope that you listen to it. It's great. But I just received the notification that there's a new episode. I am too busy right now. I don't have time to listen to it right now. I have the GQ's add-on for Gmail. And from the email, I can create the task to remind me to do it. It automatically adds the subject as the title, but I could change it if I want to. I could assign what queue I want it to go into, I can give it a date. So I'm going to say, remind me tomorrow, or you can select a custom date. Well, what you can assign a time, you can set the reminders, you can do the assign a tag. I'm going to say this is admin and you can do everything from the email. And then you have the option of attaching the email to the to do or linking to it, adding any notes that you want and creating the task right from your email. So that way you do not have to have leave things hanging in your inbox, cluttering your inbox for you to remember to do. When you have things in too many different places, things fall through the cracks. This way, everything is synced. 
in one location. See, right here in my inbox is that task. The email is linked to it. So if I click on it, it will take me right to it. So this is wonderful for you. When you have a client emailing you, oh, I need you to please generate this report. I can just create the to-do from it and know that I, I don't have to stop what I'm doing now. I will not forget. So I hope that this information is helpful. If you are a Google user, I strongly recommend that you check out this app. There is a free version, but the upgrade is very inexpensive. And if you get half the benefit that I get from it, it will definitely pay for itself. So if you have any questions, I am only an email away, jessica at floridavirtualbookkeeper.com.